still just spinning here. Psalms 42, uh, verse 1, verse 2 is the scripture. That's what God keeps saying. I, I did it in the easy Bible. Perhaps you would be able to catch it, but I see the Holy Ghost going back to that. He's going back to that again to be able to show us easy Bible, verse 1 and verse 2. Let me see. God, I need you so much. I look for you as a thirsty deer looks for streams of water. Deep down inside me, I am very thirsty. You are the God who lives, and I need life from you. When will I be able to come near to you and see you face to face? The verse 1 and verse 2 right there in the Easy Bible. Uh -huh. Thank you, Father. No. Okay, go back. Let me, let me see. I'm trying to get online. I see the shed. I don't see nothing else here that I could get on right now. Okay. That's what I'm trying to do. That's, yeah, but it's not coming in. Go ahead. Let's see. We got to go, but that's good. But in the Amplified Classic, Amplified Classic, I'm going to just go ahead and do what I need to do. Amplified Classic uh, was one of the ones that we looked at several weeks ago. Now, he's, you see what the point is, God is trying to get you to be thirsty for him. That's what he's after. God already got a plan set. He got everything taken care of anyway. He just trying to get somebody to trust that, to believe he know what he's doing, and you can surrender your life. Because you got to give your life to him, your time. You, you know, people hunger for video games. They hunger to watch certain programs. They're thirsty for that. But they're not thirsty for the things of God. And that's why you're going to get satisfied. That's why you're going to get built up, strengthened. So you're wasting your time. Amplified classic. Hmm. As the heart pants and longs for the water brooks, so I pant and long for you, O oh God. My inner self thirsts for God. No, I went there because I wanted to show you my inner self. My inner self thirsts for God. That, that's where it got to get you. Your inner self got the thirst for God. It don't have nothing to do with nobody else. And nobody else can stop me. Nobody else can change anything if I got that. I got the extra edge now on, you see. Now, but if you set, you will become depressed. You will be worried. You'll be fearful. You'll be troubled. Ah, it's like a cartoon. It's like a cartoon. It's like a cartoon that just keep being replayed. It's bumping sound. Yeah, okay. I don't, I don't, I, that's what y'all hearing. Okay, praise God. I, I hope we come out all right. Uh, that was a good fight here. Good flow, but a good fight. New King James Version. New King James, some old sound man, somebody help us. Come on, go ahead. As the deer pants for the water brooks, so pants my soul for you, O God. Wait, wait, wait. I got to go back. Uh, Amplified Classic. I got to throw it off. I got to go back. I don't want to miss that. As my inner self for God. And what? My inner self thirsts for God. Uh-huh. For the living God. For the living God. Because he's alive. Come on. When shall I come and behold the face of God? Okay, in other words, he said, I'm longing to just spend some time in the breeze quiet in the house, and he come and he visit what men talk to me. Yeah, this is a spirit, brother. That's what this is. And everybody going to find it out. If they close their eyes, you die, you're going to know this was right. But it's going to be a little too late to make up your mind then to do anything about it. You got to do it now. A thirst, a hunger for a living God. Huh? Got that? Now, I got to go, but Go back to, uh, uh, I don't know where I was just now. <laughs> just a fight. The verse I went to just a moment ago. We were just at uh, New King James before. Yes. Psalm 42, uh, Same thing, Psalm 42, right, yes. I'm trying to move, but go ahead. As the deer pants for the water brooks, so pants my soul for you, O God. My soul thirsts for God, for the living God. Now, that's that soul, man. That's that, that man I like. 
what he like. Want what he want when he want. That's that woman, that's that man, whoever you what, huh? That's the one he's talking about, boy. He's trying to get to you right there. Okay, if he can get to you. Now, you're going to have success in life. You, the happiness, the joy, whatever you're looking for, you're going to get that. So here's he offering it. And, and the spirit crying, I see here, for somebody to just say, yes, I believe. Yes, I'm going to try this. Because I done tried everything else, but look like ain't nothing else working for me anyway. I'm going to try this because I'm still depressed. I'm still looking like the end of the world has come. What? What? For I came along when I was 24 years old. I'm almost 70 years old, God. Just a few more months in this year go by. Huh? And boy, if I could have came to the Lord when I was 16... When I was 16, I'd have had less broken bones <laughs> and less problems with my life. Uh-huh. That's all. Now, we're going to go then. We're going to go. We're going to go. That's good. You got to make it. I left off at Hebrews 5, verse 13. I ain't got but three minutes to go back there. Uh, there's a growing that comes with fulfilling that thirst. Growing deep in the understanding of God's word. Now you're going to grow. You're going to understand things you never were able to see. Huh? Boy, what a blessing, what a blessing. You're going to make it in life, and the devil ain't going to beat the snot out of you all your life. Because that's what he's going to do without the word of God. He's going to beat the snot out of you. That's all he's going to do for you. Now, if you don't, and you could pray and children, you could pray that God would be able to bless you to be the person he wants you to be. That's the sex. That's success. Then you're going to be successful in everything you do. But if you avoid the opportunity, verse 13, come on, grow everyone, deeply in your understanding of God's word. Come on. For everyone that uses milk is unskillful in the word of righteousness, for he is a babe. Come on. But strong meat belonging to them that are of full age, uh -huh. even those who by reason of use have their senses exercised to deserve No, wait a King James Version. Give me easy Bible right quick. Let's see. Come on. God. Anyone who still thinks like a baby does not yet understand God's message about what is right. Okay. It if you still think like a baby and you can't grow and can't develop, then you, you're behind. You, you, you don't know what's happening no more. You got to keep up. You know, some people... They get older, but they never grow up. They don't have understanding of a uh, 40-year-old. They just got there. So they don't understand that yet. So by the time they get 50, they're going to see if they stay in the pattern of what God said for understanding. Rebellion, pride, going to flush that out. You're not going to have no understanding. You're going to think you know something you don't know because you have to grow up. There ain't no shame. Nobody born grown. What is this? Some people think they got to, they're supposed to know certain things. You don't. Face it. You're going to learn as you go. That's a good place to be. That was a good place to shout or something. Amen. That's why, that's why you, but if you stop, at any point along that journey, you go back. <laughs> I ain't going to talk about it. Come on, go ahead, read. It is as if they are still drinking only milk. They're drinking milk. You know, you get a certain age, you're supposed to stop drinking milk. It's no good for you. The, huh? You ain't got that yet, then. Oh, man, come on, go ahead. People who have grown up eat proper food. In the same way, people who have been believers for a long time should understand more about God's message. <laughs> they should have learned about what is good and about what is bad. They should know the difference between those. They should sure supposed to know the difference. But if you don't grow up spiritually, because that's the only way you're going to discern between good and evil, then you're not going to know. 
You're going to think what you're doing is right. Oh, wow. Man. So then you have to grow up. Now, David walked before God in prayer. All the mistakes he made, but he was quickly to come back to talk to God. That was the only difference between him and other kings and even Solomon himself. He never turned away from God to get any information from nobody else. Now, he was dead wrong, but if you notice, in case in point, what we were talking about Wednesday night, about numbering the people. David had all good with Gad. David had turned Gad off and don't talk to him. No, I don't want to hear that. I don't want to talk. He had wisdom to understand that God sent that man to tell him that. Oh, boy, that's heavy. Now, he wrong, but he became more wrong if there's anything possible if he would have ignored him. But by he have enough sense to know, whoa, 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 whoa. This man spend time with God. He he a seer. He know he he t- he, he 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 need to tell me something because hey, he can tell me. I'm open to it. He was open. So there was a lot of little things in there that the devil gonna play you now, if you don't understand the way God is and His authority, His protocol, the way He do things. See, He don't do things the way because you think you know what you're talking about. So the deepness of the word of God going to cause you. First Kings is where I'm going to come back to. First Kings, David walked before God in prayer consistently. And you see it in many incidents in his life when things came up, everything never going to be good all the time. Surprise, child. I need to tell you that there's no way in life. That's not life. Life is changes, trials, testing time, dealing time. You're growing. That's how you grow. Uh, verse, uh, chapter 9, I'm sorry, verse 4. Verse 4. And if thou wilt walk before me as David thy father walked, in integrity of heart. Now, you're talking to uh, Solomon, right? Yes, sir. Talking to Solomon. He's telling Solomon, he said, look here, Solomon. Let me show you what's this what you're gonna need to do to stay upright. Read King James. Come on, and I'm gonna close with that scripture. Come and on. if thou will walk before me as David thy father walked, in integrity of heart and in uprightness, to do according to all that I have commanded thee, and will keep my statutes and my judgments. Come on, easy Bible verse. Huh? Verse four. You must continue to serve me and obey me as your father David served me. Do everything that I have commanded you to do. Obey my rules and my laws. Now, you know, look like God ain't telling the truth by David. You know, David ain't did everything God said. Showed you that last week. What is he talking about? Huh? David wasn't perfect. But yes, he was. In the sense that he ever was going to turn to no idols. He, and when he got in problems, when he got into problems, he always came back to God. He didn't go. Now, you remember Saul went to a witch. Solomon went to 900 women. You got that? David didn't do that. He it, although he messed up with Bathsheba and Uriah the Hittite, but he came back to God. He had enough sense to know I, I'm thirsty. And my thirst is not quenched but nobody but him. See that? He understood that. But you still letting your head trip you out thinking something else is going to satisfy your thirst. You got to stand then. Amen. Well, we'll come back. We're talking about prayer now. So you have to have a thirst for God to want to pray. That's where we're going. Once you get a thirst for God, then you're going to have a hunger, a thirst, uh-uh, a thirst to be able to communicate with him. 
Say, there's no matter what nobody say what they do, he is there. And nothing's going to stop you now because you got a connection now. Now, this is not just church. If it was just church, I'd have been left, y'all. I'd have been never was here, boy, because I wasn't for church boys nor church girls. They could get out my face. They bring a curse. 